limits out of here, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You falling in love? With your <laughs> blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? We was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you've cultivated? Eh? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a mess of gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Uh, 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 now, uh, where can a man find a bit of rough? Do you know what I mean? Now, what could I add to make it perfect? Trick.
poor old stork is dead and gone. Aha! Come along, get along, stormy along, gone. I dug his grave with a silver spade. Come along, get along, stormy along, John. I lured him down with a golden tip. So, what do you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, the prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Yeah. But wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> with this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand you. Let's take her then. The citizens of Jackdaw!
Well, hello, Your Excellency. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate, but your name was borrowed the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the Sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. This gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way, using you and your gold. Well concluded. Seems you could use. Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. 
I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kenma, you run this scheme alone at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the stage, we'll all be rich. Not if young master kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the sage. Can you hold off till he appears? The sage is here. Uh, the prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. I'll stay in my blade for a time, but not long. How long has it been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? 